The Jewish community is sounding the alarm about anti-Semitism here at home. Right outside a Jewish student center, a sign showing photographs of the hostages held by Hamas was knocked down twice. Esme Murphy has the footage. Posters like these have gone up around the world, showing the faces of the more than 200 hostages seized by Hamas on October 7th. Hillel, the Jewish student center just off the U of M campus, put the posters outside their building, and twice they've been vandalized. In broad daylight, surveillance cameras show the poster being kicked down and then stomped on. And then on Saturday night, after the posters were repaired, they were kicked down again. It was uh, a sad moment to see it, um, but I think when you look at the vitriol being spewed on college campuses, uh, I can understand why somebody would do it. Posters too obscene to put on TV have also been plastered around campus. Students at Hillel are struggling. The pain is just overwhelming for so many of us, Jewish, Palestinian, Israeli alike. Senior Izzy Lundquist says the bitter divide is deepening. When someone sees the pain of one side being acknowledged, they view it as an erasure of the other pain that's being caused. Hillel says the University of Minnesota police have increased surveillance of their building. Hillel is in the process of repairing these posters and putting them back together as a sandwich board. And when it's ready, it's going to go right back out front of this building. And the director of Hillel here says it will stay outside the building until these hostages come home. In Minneapolis, Esme Murphy, WCCO News. We reached out to the University of Minnesota Police and the University, but we have not heard back.